Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the CDN, Content Delivery Network, using the Azure. For the next couple of minutes, we're going to explore the CDN and the usage and why it is important and useful for our application. And then we will go directly into the demo. So what is Azure Friend Door? Azure Friend Door is a modern cloud CDN service that provides the high performance and scalability and also it secures the experience of your content files and global applications okay so this combines modern cdn technologies and intelligent threat protection in a tightly integrated services that's easy to set up deploy and manage so azure is going to provide all these things okay so what are the features does azure friend door supports it supports a variety of features and one of the important thing that it supports is the denial of service protection okay so continuously if someone is hitting you know it will detect and you know it will stop those requests coming in it also has the load balancers it has uh, dynamic and static contents which you will see all right so it has many things so this is the typical content distribution uh, system works like you have the web server where you have all your static files or dynamic files and then you have the content delivery system in the middle okay so that will uh, support your uh, content delivery uh, thing so the users are hitting your web application which will eventually hit your static files right so those things uh, are going to be managed by the content delivery network okay so this the one that you're seeing on my screen is the request and the response life cycle you see this the user is hitting the uh, the content delivery network and it will see whether such files are being uh, stored in the local meaning uh, it has been stored there to serve it and if it is there it was going to serve it from the content delivery and if it is not there first time it will go to the web server take the content and store it there and it will respond to the users okay you can see this is very important right so day to day if you open up any website the, the bootstrap is a very important or the common one that is there so that css file uh, you don't need to download every time from all the websites where you are trying to uh, check instead that a particular css or the js file will be placed in the content delivery the cdn uh, system right so that cdn will detect from where in the globe you are requesting and it will try to serve you that file closest to your location okay so if you're if you're coming from any of uh, one of the continent and it knows from where your closest one so it will serve the content uh, whichever is closest to you so this will avoid taking a long time for your files to come let's say there's a uh, website which has many css files and js file okay based on where you're located if someone is hitting your website it might take some time for you to load all the content so that itself will take a performance hit on your web application right so it might take a couple of seconds to load but by doing uh, all the files into cdn then it is gonna uh, serve you faster maybe first time it will be uh, slower but eventually you know uh, based on the users it will be faster all right come let's take a look at the demo so i have created a web app and this is the web application URL. Okay, so here basically there's only one HTML file, but this HTML file is eventually having these many CSS files and the JS file that you can see in the developer tool. And you can see, right, it has taken 560 milliseconds, 300 milliseconds and so on. Okay, now what we are going to do is, and these files, right, first of all, is coming from the Azure uh, blob container. I have kept all the CSS files and all this assets contents in here, okay? So when you load the uh, page, it is basically going and taking the content from this uh, blob storage, okay? Now, what we are going to do is we are going to move these content into the uh, CDN. The CDN is now going to serve this. That is what we are going to see, okay? Okay, the easiest way to do that is go to this container where your content is present and if you browse down to your left side, okay, there's something called CDN, Azure CDN. Click on the Azure CDN first and uh, before that, uh, this is the file like I just want to show you under the auth folder, it is present, okay. So go inside the Azure CDN and here you can actually configure the CDN which is the Azure friend door. I will also show you later uh, how to do it in a, in a, for a different way. So let's say we are going to cache this content into CDN. Okay, so now it's saying there is no such provider exist. We need to have the Microsoft.CDN uh, provider registered to our subscription. Now you can do through uh, the uh, the PowerShell or the CLI. Uh, you just need to have the storage account present. But I'll show you another way. Go to the subscription of your portal. Okay, under the subscription, 
to your uh, menu to the left side you can see something called resource providers you click on the resource providers based on what you have already registered it will show you which is registered and all the other resource providers will be showed as not registered we are going to pick up only the microsoft.cdn uh, provider and we are going to register it you see this this one is currently not registered so we're going to click on this and on the top you can see register click on register this is equivalent of registering this this provider to a cli or the powershell okay so it takes a few minutes to register once it is registered if you go back to azure cdn right so once it is registered only it will come up here i'm gonna refresh to see what's it's coming or not um so yes now it has come so once you uh, refresh you can see this coming up see basically what we are going to do is we are going to create a profile profile is a collection of uh urls or collection of files where uh, it is sitting under okay so we're going to profile uh we're going to create a profile we're going to choose the pricing tier uh pricing is really really uh less in case if you wanted to try it for yourself okay you can go and check in the azure pricing tab it's really less uh you, that, so you can you can actually do it so now we're going to provide a profile choose the pricing tier uh, which is the microsoft cdn classic there is verizon and akama but i'm choosing the microsoft classic one and the endpoint endpoint just name it which is should be unique i have also and then the host name choose the blob container because the content is in the blob right so i'm choosing that's why the blob container which is there okay now what will happen is we have uh, we have done this we are going to refresh and show you what is the host name of the endpoint looks like okay so let me refresh this and it's okay to reload uh, it is already registered okay so you see this uh, the one that we try to register has already come and you can see the endpoint see endpoint is lsc web application the application that i have done i mean the 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 endpoint is this one and this is the the endpoint you have to copy this endpoint and uh, in my html i'm going and replacing the blob url into this endpoint okay this is very important our file is coming from this blob storage right this adb to cdemo.blob.co.windows.net that will be replaced with the endpoint that we created with the cdn okay got it so we have already configured that anything that comes to this endpoint which is accessing the blob will be cached and will be served from the cdn okay now you see this adn adb to c uh, files are there if i refresh i mean i actually deployed the latest one um, so if you refresh now it's coming as lsc web apps and which means we are still trying to hit that file but through the cdn endpoint so if you go through cdn endpoint it will see whether such file do exist if that doesn't exist it will go and cache it but it will internally serve uh, the files from the uh, the blob container where it is placed now whatever you saw is all about the files which is there sitting in the in the uh, blob storage and we are doing in cdn through the blob to serve the blob actually you can do cdn uh, you can use cdn for various purposes if you have the static files directly on your web app you can use the cdn to configure to your web app okay so that is what we are going to see now so in order to go from the first right so just go and type cdn and you will see front door and cdn profiles okay once you go here you can click on create once you click on create you will see this as your front door and quick create okay there are the other options so let's go here and understand so basically instead of going into a particular resource we are trying to configure the resource cdn from here you choose the subscription the important thing is the resource group once you have the resource group the next thing is the profile detail like i said profile is a collection of url right so you give a profile name and you can choose the pricing tier as standard and premium and you can see these are the options the one that we did earlier was the azure storage blob blob storage but actually you can choose um the azure web app if you choose web app it will kind of point out all the web application that is there in your entire azure subscription you can choose a particular uh, web app where your static files are present which you wanted to uh, you know serve it through the cdn right so that is how you do so depends on your need you can actually configure your cdn and um, once you do that you have to come here you have to change your file location to the endpoint of your cdn 
then CDN will know based on your CDN URL, which is unique, it will know from where the file has to be, uh, you know, cached and returned to the user. That's how the CDN works. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it, and never forget to click on the bell icon.